I can see that the light is not enough. I will just do that and I will finish tomorrow. So I have this um, old book, Japanese, I think, Chinese, no, Japanese. And I use pages inside that. The size is correct. I don't know if I like the straight lines here. I'm going to do the other side and it seems to dry really fast there is still an air bubble so you know when there is an air bubble what you can do you can come with a pin and do a hole and the air is going to escape and then you put some glue on the top it's going to enter through the paper and it's going to re-glue everything but I'm going to see if once dry the bubble remains if it remains, I will fix that. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same. Okay, I, the paper is really fragile and I managed to damage it. It's not a big deal in such a situation. What will I do? Actually, it's good that it happens, so if it happens to you, you will know what to do. Take a small piece like this. So for today, I'm going to stop now and uh, I will continue the rest tomorrow. Okay, so we are the next day and I'm going to show you what I did yesterday and what I'm about to do today. What I did today is that I cut some images from magazines like that, flowers, or also from other magazines that I keep like that in a file. And you see I have, for example, here it's flowers. I know that all the flowers that I found are here. I wanted flowers. Why? Because I did not want something straight. I wanted something a little rounded and a little uh, with a natural shape. And flowers are the things which uh, are the most like I wanted. So I cut the flowers with a cutter on a cutter mat like that. You can also use scissors, sometimes I use scissors, sometimes I use that. It depends on my mood and in what is the most practical. I had a lot of difficulties to find something to put on these notebooks. By the way, I did this one. Uh, yes, so yesterday I did uh, this one without filming. So I thought I would have the four ready already i think that i did those two ones in front of you and i did this one also so it's a red paper i don't know what there is here but anyway the image is going to come like this so it's not a problem i was thinking of using trimmings at the beginning uh, for example something like that uh, i'm going to show you for example something like that trimmings that I have which comes from India you see but you know I couldn't find if I wanted it like that or like that or like that or like that or like that <laughs> and I searched during hours yesterday and until I realized that the straight line was not uh, what I wanted and this is one example, but I have many like that. For example, this one on the green, or even this one, or even this one on here. You see, that would be nice, for example. But 
I don't know. I couldn't find. Let's see. That would be nice. But I already made some notebooks, but the shape was totally different. It was square and a little, not totally square actually, a little wider like that and, and not so tall. And at the end, I put some trimmings. And that was perfect. But on this shape, I don't know why. And even here, I don't like it. Uh, there is something wrong. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. But I couldn't find. And I thought, OK, tomorrow I will find. And this morning, I thought it's not trimmings that I need. It's flowers. So let's go with the flowers. So before I glue the flowers, I will show you what I did inside. So this one, I didn't glue some paper here. I just put some washi tape all around like that. I thought it's just nice like that. It doesn't need more. I could be disturbed by that, but actually I'm not. And so people will be able to write something here if they want to. And on the other side, you will see I did exactly the same thing. And I think it's nice like that. People can write something here too. So here, uh, you saw me doing it yesterday with the washi tape, the paper. And here, same thing, washi tape, paper. I just re-glued the flowers with some Mod Podge to be sure that it stays in place. The Mod Podge was enough because the flowers are actually very thin. So I did yesterday uh, this one. What I did is that I glued some paper as well, some washi tape, and I added a flower. So the flower, it's a sticker, it's that. I don't remember where I bought that because I have it since such a long time, but I think that I got that. Oh, my curls, oh, I bought it in 2003, you see. Oh, my curls, or oh, Target, one or the other. And uh, I usually don't like what is cutesy, you know, but I think that the flower here is okay because it's very different from that it's di very different from that but the whole thing works together i like the fact that the paper is a, a little like uh, um, with different hues of red i like the fact that we can read schedule because then i we think that the schedule is that it's funny and uh, i like the whole thing here i did the same thing here except for the flowers I don't like to do exactly the same thing on the both sides. Yes, I think that the flower once is quite enough. And uh, here I decided to keep that also because the paper was straight so it was easy to put some washi tape except that my washi tape, this one, is very damaged probably because of the heat the glue completely melted and i had a lot of <coughs> difficulties to have a nice piece of washi tape and i had to restart several times so be careful with the heat because the glue can melt and then it's impossible to to pull on the washi tape you see I, it was coming off like that so good to know you can keep these things forever especially if it's hot in your area just to tell you that i thought that the yellow here was joyful i even had to glue some washi tape because it was not gluing probably the the glue was completely messed up and i put a flower here too because i thought it was nice and on the other side I did the same thing without the flower and I kept that so people can write on here. I really thought that it was cute and joyful. So I will start maybe with this one because it's the one where I have to put the smallest motif uh, flower. 
so I thought to glue it something like that just to let you know I finished the Elmer glue mixed with water I finished it yesterday in my container and I continued with the matte Mod Podge and it was totally fine I'm going to use some Mod Podge and not to put too much <coughs> water in my glue because it's some paper, magazine paper which is not great to glue actually, it's not ideal and more the surface is big more it's difficult to glue without having air bubbles but let's do it take some matte mud podge because I don't want that we see some shiny glue all around you see I even put too much water what I do is that I put some glue on the top as well and I, I go from the middle to the outer side to remove the air bubble and then I go with the finger like that to remove the air bubbles as well and then I can even do with the credit card, the false credit card card, any card, plastic cards of course as you see however you must realize that when it dries sometimes it com becomes more straight Hot, it dries like crazy fast. I never saw some glue which dries so fast. It's incredible. Okay, I'm going to put it here to dry and we will see what happens. Here it's going to be more complicated because I don't know where is my second sheet okay I'm going to put it here because here I have a big piece to glue so I decided to glue this one here okay there is some flowers on the other side too actually I must wet my glue a little because everything is drying so fast some glue as well here so it will dry not so fast see? more the surface is big more difficult it is if you have a few creases it's not a big deal it's just the air bubbles that we must avoid Not the best paper ever to glue for sure. So we are the next day. <laughs> Yesterday my battery was off, my memory was uh, full and uh, I continued on my own but uh, today i'm going to show you what i did yesterday i in the morning i didn't go in the shower yet but i wanted to film the end of this video because i will never manage to finish this video otherwise so what i did yesterday i glued these flowers and uh, you can see that there are some uh, i don't know if you mean it should see but there are some sparkle here i glued that with some mud podge and i put a varnish a satin varnish on it which is this one but i have that since a very long time so i don't know if you can still find that but any 
satin finish varnish water base will be fine and I also put some sparkle here and a little here if you have a few minutes to see satin varnish on the flower and a matte varnish on the paper because of the glue we could see a difference but I wanted to keep my paper matte so I used this matte medium and varnish for acrylics that I bought at the art store I don't know if it still exists because I have that since a very long time but any matte varnish matte varnish will be fine so this one you must know as the piece is big I made some cut here and there so the air bubble could be put outside however there is a crease here but it doesn't bother me too much there is some sparkle as well and I just put some satin varnish on the flowers I removed the vase thing because I thought it was too much and also I thought that I would have too many air bubbles with the vase underneath so I just kept the flower and I'm completely glad with that obviously the varnish is dry I just put it it's so hot and this is the one where I had the most trouble because the piece is so big that I had not really air bubbles but more creases like that because the paper is very soft and it's really not ideal to glue on something so I glued it I let it dry I slightly sanded it to remove everything which was raised I put some patina I put some old English which give like a form of patina on the image to make it look more even more old than and damaged than it was already I let it dry I removed the excess with the with a rag and once it was completely dry and perfect I put some matte varnish to protect the surface and I end up with that that I absolutely love I love the the, the aspect so I don't mind of these things because it goes well with the idea of what I wanted and I think that the surface is especially interesting so what I'm going to do here for example here at the back I usually sign for example with a stamp uh, not a stamp with a stencil that I made myself on, in some manila it's some manila paper covered with linseed oil uh, to make it uh, waterproof and I drew this thing myself and I cut it so I created the stencil you are not going to find a stencil like that well you are maybe going to find a stencil with leaf but not exactly this one I'm going to use some gold paint so this is some Liquitex uh, Professional Acrylic Heavy Body Iridescent Rich Gold Here it is It's a very light discrete stencil I'm going to do the other ones some gold here I'm afraid that I'm not going to see much so I'm going to use another color which is the stencil decor mulberry by plaid and I think it's going to be more visible on the printed green and even on the other one which is with a very hard print I think it will be better What I do is that I sign my name with a black ink or another ink. I sign my name. So it's signed, but it's still nice. So what I do once everything is dry, I usually put the, these notebooks in cellophane bags to protect them from the dust. And I'm selling them on my Etsy shop. So they will be soon on my Etsy shop if you are interested but I'm not doing this video to make you buy something 
I'll just tell you that in the case you would be interested, of course. Okay, let's see. So you see, it stands up in spite of all the mess so we have here in this pattern. It's not a mess, but I mean, there is, it's a lot. There is a lot. But we are still seeing. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it gave you idea. You can do it yourself. Find nice paper, find nice notebooks, uh, find nice images, and uh, just have a varnish uh, glue that you like. And, uh, and you are good to go. Just, you must think practical to cut your paper, to glue it, and try to find uh, papers which are not too soft, which are where well, they have a little of thickness, or some Indian paper, as I showed you, which are really very easy to glue. So you see, I made a big mistake that usually I don't do because usually I'm working alone without being distracted. But as I was filming, I didn't pay attention and when I was taking the photos of, to, to put my uh, notebooks on Etsy, I discovered that I made a huge mistake, which I used to do that at the beginning, but I've not made this mistake since such a long time and it happened again. Look at that. That was not the front, that was the back, because you see the red line is here, it should be here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to decorate the front as well. I will probably keep the signature, but I will decorate the front and I will sell it as being usable on the uh, both sides. But you see, that is the mistake that you must not do. So I wanted to show it to you so you know that you must not do this mistake as I did at the beginning when I was doing my notebooks. I'm lucky because it's the only one where there is the mistake. So just to let you know, I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumb up. It's my only way to know that you liked it. If you have any question, please ask. I will answer as fast as I can. And also, if you want to see more like that, you can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell, which is just beside subscribe. So you will know every time I'm releasing a new video. And of course, if you want, you can also share my video if you think that someone else can be interested in watching it. Thank you very much for watching. See you very soon. Bye bye.